We have 18 children. I don't know when we've ever had the house alone to ourselves. No, impossible. I think the difficulties for me is keeping things clean and organized and everybody else on track. When I go shopping, I spend between 250 to 500 every shopping trip. It doesn't take much for us to really to fill up the fridge. Negative comments, people are upset that we're having more children and overpopulating the world. I think when they see a big family, like, oh my God, that must be chaotic. Oh, that must be so much work. I'm pulling my pants down. I have a, like all five little girls, and then I have the middle girls, and then I have the boys. Then I go on to my teenagers, Malachi, Braden, Kaden, Michaela, and mom, oops, and dad. When I met my wife, I had eight children. And I had three. And together we've had seven. seven. When I cook for the children, it usually takes me anywhere between one to three hours, depending on what I'm making for the day. I can usually kind of get everything ready. Like I'm gonna pull out the hamburger for dinner tonight so after I pretty much get breakfast rolling, but I can do a lot of stuff at the same time. A typical day for, for us is, is pretty much go time. I'm like, okay, put the laundry in right now and then I'm gonna go start the breakfast. And then while I do that, I'm gonna have them hop in the shower and then I'm gonna get the lunch ready right now and then I'm gonna clean up so I can keep things in order. How did you both meet? My daughter had been in an accident. Um, I was in a place where I could not communicate with her or I didn't have all the information. She um, knew all the information. I didn't know her at the time. It started over just telephone, us talking, and I started calling her every day. And then in July, I came back to Spokane and we got married 28 days later. We actually um, had conversations prior to getting married and it was, I kind of like laid out some things of where I still wanted to have a big family. It wasn't intimidating. It seemed like my whole life, my whole childhood, I was like preparing to be all of their moms. How did you react when you found out that your two families were going to merge? I was excited at the time, but kind of nervous. I had two other brothers. It was just the three of us, and then having a ton of more people coming in my life was just like a little weird, but it was fun. I actually met my stepmom before the wedding, so I knew her, but I didn't know her kids, and I actually didn't meet them until I believe a day before. So it's kind of a little bit like, whoa. When I first found out that like we were going to have like a blended family, it was kind of like a, a mixed feeling. We didn't know we were going to have this much sibling at this time. It was like, oh, it's not going to be that many. But then like after the years, it's kind of like, wow. We ended up having to get two SUVs very quickly. Actually, we had a truck. A truck. A truck with six and an SUV. But then it's over the years, you know, it's been one by one added on, so. The SUVs get bigger and bigger. Yeah. What are the difficulties of having such a big family? Keeping things clean and organized and everybody else on track. Those are my, like, my biggest difficulties. Do people have any misconceptions about what it's like to have a big family? Negative comments. People are upset that we're having more children and overpopulating the world. And so that's kind of one where we're like, well, hold on a minute here. We're not raising people with entitlement issues. We're raising people who are gonna put into society and into the world and be more of an asset, you know, than a liability. There's a huge misconception. I think that they believe it's chaos. I think when they see a big family, like, oh my God, that must be chaotic. Oh, that must be so much work. Um, it is it is work, obviously, but I think any home comes with work. So it's a matter of what order you put that work in mm -hmm. and how efficient that machine runs, right? When I go shopping, I usually buy like four to five gallons of milk at a time. So we're on our last bit. We just use all of our eggs, which go right, right here. Um, and I think we use like a 24 pack. I spend like really between 250 to 500 every shopping trip. So I'm like ordering from Costco delivery, you know, Instacart. While I'm cooking, I'm like, oh, I need this. And so I'll usually put an order together like that. And how often do you make those grocery trips? <sighs> usually at least once a week, if not more. What's Christmas like? 
Christmas is, I say it's fun, but it's work. It is work. Yeah, we're gonna drop 10K on Christmas. Yeah. That's what that looks like. So, I sleep here with Heavenly and Ellie. They're both one and two on the king size. And then on the queen size, we have our five-year-old Lily, and then a six-year-old Isabella, and a seven-year-old Krista. So that's all that sleeps in this room. I do have siblings that get on my nerves. If they get in my stuff, or get in my makeup, or my nail stuff, it really ticks me off. <laughs> this is where Andrew sleeps, and Andrew is nine. Right? I'm eight. Oh, he's eight. Andrew's eight. <laughs> and then this is Christopher's bed. I think he's four. He's five. You need to keep going. <laughs> and then this is Donnie's bed. Donnie's the same age as Andrew, and apparently he's eight. So this is a little boy's room. My siblings do get on my nerves quite often, mainly the younger ones, because you know they're still trying to understand boundaries. Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? This is my parents' room. So the baby and Briella sleeps in here with my mom and my dad. And some of them just like to chill in here. Do you ever feel lonely in this house? Lonely? No. You want to be lonely in this house. Do you ever get the house to yourselves? No. No. I don't know when we've ever had the house alone to ourselves. I don't think we ever have. No. Impossible. What do you think it'd be like if you don't have the house to yourselves? It'd be clean. <laughs> if I had the house to myself, it would be clean. I would take a nap. <laughs> That's what I would do. Okay. What I love most about um, raising a huge family is really the end goal. We're molding people, so it's a huge responsibility. Our hope, right, is that we're raising world changers, people who are going to come in and show the same grace and mercy they were raised with and make the world a better place. What I like about having so many siblings is you're never alone and there's like always something to do because there's always somebody to do something with. I like that there's like a lot of different personalities, like in the mix. I think everybody in our family knows what their part and their role and their position is. Yeah. And they know how to move when they're called on it. Yeah. And that's something that I think we do well. And as far as a team goes, we make a great baseball team. Mm -hmm. We're not planning on having any more, but. I'm absolutely 100% not planning on having any more children. <laughs> I love the numbers that we have right now. 